the Shabele River reduced to dry, dusty riverbed, and very bad news for the many who depend on it. We are farmers here in Afgoe. This river is all that we relied on and it's now dry. We have nothing else to do. All that we do is farm. We are now concerned. They've resorted to prayer. Today we all meet here, representatives from all regions that rely on the Shabel River. We have come to pray for rain and for God to protect us from the drought that has hit several parts of the country. Aid agencies say there have already been reports of people dying from malnutrition. The northern regions of Puntland and Somaliland are especially vulnerable. The government in Mogadishu says the country needs outside help. In other areas, water shortage has been reported. The Shabela River has dried up and water shortage is being experienced in most places. We're concerned that this situation will likely remain this way in most of the areas of the country. Almost 400,000 Somalis already face acute food insecurity. Aid agencies in Somalia have launched a call for aid, seeking $105 million, warning that the current situation needs to be addressed before it results into a famine-like situation like in 2011, where more than quarter million Somalis lost their lives. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.